Do you want to chit chat with neighbors or colleagues? Then this is your video. I'm going to teach you how to do that. And today's topic is sports and hobbies. By the way, did you know that chit chat in Dutch is called koetjes and kalfjes? Koetjes and kalfjes, which means little cows and calves. Okay, back to the goal of this video, and that is teaching you how to chit chat about sports and hobbies. We're going to start with phase A. Absorb. You're going to immerse yourself in a Dutch language by looking at the following clip. Don't forget to turn on your subtitles. Hoe was je weekend? Mijn weekend was geweldig. In het weekend heb ik altijd veel tijd voor mijn hobby's. Wat zijn jouw hobby's? Ik hou van sporten. Ik doe aan fitness en ik speel basketbal. Ik vind wandelen ook leuk. Ik ook. Ik vind sporten ook leuk. Hou je ook van koken? Nee, ik vind koken niet zo leuk. Ik vind bakken wel leuk. Ik maak graag taarten. Dat is lekker. The previous clip represented a daily Dutch situation. And I'm here to teach you all the words and grammar you need to function in this situation. Let's do that in phase B, building blocks. And building blocks, those are the tools you need to speak Dutch with confidence, such as grammar, vocabulary, phrases, pronunciation. I'm going to help you with that. The goal of this video is for you to know what to say when chit-chatting about sports and hobbies. The most important building blocks for this goal are vocabulary, some useful phrases, and three verbs. Houden, vinden, and doen. And the prepositions that come with them. At the end of this video, I share a speaking template, so make sure to stay tuned for that. But we're going to start with some new vocabulary. We're going to start with some nouns and infinitives first. Sport. Sporten. Voetbal, voetballen, basketbal, basketballen, volleybal, volleyballen, tennis, tennissen, fitness, fitnessen. Let's read them again. Sport, sporten, voetbal, voetballen. Basketball, basketballen, volleybal, volleyballen, tennis, tennissen, fitness, fitnessen. There are three ways to talk about sports. The first way is to conjugate the infinitive. Sporten. Ik sport op maandag. Voetballen. Ik Voetbal elk weekend. Basketballen. Ik basketbal in de avond. Volleyballen. Ik volleybal met mijn vrienden. Tennissen. Ik tennis vaak. Fitnessen. Ik fitness soms. When conjugating a verb in the present tense, you have to use the stem of a verb. Remember, in Dutch, this doesn't end with a double consonant. So, for instance, ik tennis is with one s, not two. Instead of conjugating a verb, you can use the ik doe aan construction. For this construction, you use the noun instead of the infinitive. Ik doe aan tennis. Ik Doe aan voetbal. Ik doe aan fitness. And you can also use the ik speel construction. Spelen means to play. The only verb you need to conjugate is spelen. Ik speel. And then you need to use the noun as well. Ik speel tennis. Ik speel voetbal. You can't say ik speel fitness because fitness isn't a sport you play. And now let's discuss other hobbies. I'm going to show you the vocabulary, how to conjugate the verbs, and how to use two important verbs, houden van and vinden. Wandelen. Ik wandel. Lezen. 
Ik lees. Hardlopen. Ik loop hard. TV kijken. Ik kijk tv. Koken. Ik kook. Bakken. Ik bak. Muziek luisteren. Ik luister muziek. When expressing that you do these things as a hobby, you can add graag. Ik wandel graag. Ik lees graag. Houden van means to love something or someone. Ik hou van jou. Or it means that you really like something. You can use houden van when talking about sports and hobbies. Or you can use vinden which expresses how you feel about something. Ik hou van sporten. Ik hou van tennissen. Ik hou van wandelen. Ik hou van koken. Ik vind sporten leuk. Ik vind tennissen leuk. Ik vind wandelen leuk. Ik vind koken leuk. Or replace the leuk with another positive adjective, such as geweldig or fantastisch. Ik vind koken fantastisch. Let's do a quick recap. I use the sport tennis for this example. You can say ik doe aan tennis, ik speel tennis, ik tennis graag, ik hou van tennissen, ik vind tennissen leuk. Let me share something about the conjugation of houden that you might not know yet. When you conjugate this verb and use the ik form, you say ik hou. Do you write it with the D or without the D? Well, there's a difference. When you say it, most likely you're gonna drop the D sound at the end. When you pronounce ik houd, that's only when it's super formal. So in most cases, just say ik hou without the D sound. But when you write it, you are gonna drop the D when it's an informal setting and you're gonna write the D when it's a more form formal email, for instance. Ik hou, ik houd. This only applies to the ik form. When you conjugate this verb in the present tense, you will get ik hou or ik houd. Jij houdt with the T, but you only pronounce the T. U houdt, same thing. Zij houdt, hij houdt, same thing. And wij, jullie, zij houden. Okay, now that I have explained the grammar, let's dive into some useful phrases you can use for our speaking goal. Wat zijn jouw hobby's? Mijn hobby's zijn... For instance, mijn hobby's zijn tennissen en wandelen. Wat vind jij leuk? Ik vind... Leuk. Ik vind tennissen en wandelen leuk. This was a lot of info, but it will all come together in phase C, consolidation. And in this phase, you're going to practice speaking in a guided way with my speaking template. Let's take a look. Wat zijn jouw hobby's? Ik wandel graag. Ik vind koken ook leuk. Sport je ook? Ja, ik hou van tennissen en ik doe aan fitness. And in the final phase, D, Daily Dutch Situation, you're going to practice with a study buddy or a teacher to get feedback and then do this dialogue in real life. And let me know if I didn't mention your hobby in this video. Let me know in the comments. I'm going to help you with your translation and how to use it in a dialogue. It's time to practice in the comments. Answer this question. What are your hobbies? In the comments, I'm going to give you feedback. And did you know that this type of grammar is part of my 0 to A1 course as well? If you're interested in learning Dutch with me, then check the link in the description and don't forget to like this video if you think it's useful. Tot de volgende video!